them, if they, you would have to overcome every obstacle in order to say the world is billions of years old. If I said this building is 8,000 years old, that could be easily disproven by a number of factors. Electricity wasn't around 8,000 years ago, as far as we know. So you could prove I was wrong in that statement. Uh, Dr. Richardson says the world is 4.6 billion years old. The human population speaks very loudly against that. The population chart here indicates the whole thing started less than 5,000 years ago. Well, the Bible teaches there was a flood that destroyed the whole population of the world and began 5,000 years ago. How much time left? 20 minutes? Good, don't keep track. Okay. The sun is burning and shrinking five feet per hour. The sun is burning six million tons of hydrogen per second converted to helium thrown off into the atmosphere. The sun is shrinking. All astronomers realize that. The shrinking sun at that rate, and we don't know if it's linear or geometric, I understand that, but 20 million years ago, the sun would have been big enough to touch the Earth. If they want to teach the world is 4.6 billion years old, they better have an answer for the fact the sun is shrinking. It is shrinking. The magnetic field of the Earth is getting weaker and weaker. NASA says the half-life is 830 years. 15,000 years ago, nothing could live on Earth because the magnetic field would have been too strong. Magnetic field, by the way, prevents the formation of carbon-14. Carbon-14 in the atmosphere is increasing because of the declining magnetic field. So if you dig up an animal from 5,000 years ago, he's going to carbon date like he's 50,000 years old because they had less carbon-14 in the atmosphere. They forgot to allow for the declining magnetic field. They went to the moon, got lunar rocks, dated them eight different ways, got eight different numbers. None of the numbers fit their theory, so they were all rejected, and they picked the number that fit the theory. The moon is going around the Earth, but the moon is getting further and further away. The moon is receding. Astronomers will tell you we are losing the moon. At the current recession rate, going backwards in time, the moon used to be closer. You bring the moon back in a couple million years ago, the tides would have been so great that it would have drowned everything on Earth twice a day. It can't be millions of years old. I've got tons of stuff. The dust on the moon was a great surprise to the astronauts. They went up there and discovered the dust was only three-fourths of an inch deep. They predicted a, an inch of dust every 10,000 years based on the dust in space and the moon going around running into it like your windshield collects bugs, you know. And they put giant landing pads to, collect the, to settle in on top of the dust. Neil Armstrong stepped off on it and he said, hey, this is only three-fourths of an inch thick. 6,000 years, 7,000 years worth of dust up there. It can't be millions of years old. The salt's in the ocean. Does that mean quit? Okay. I've just begun. I've got nearly 500. If you want to stay for the next six days, we can go. There's many obstacles to the idea that the Earth is billions of years old. It cannot be billions of years old. Thank you. Thank you to both of you. Again, I remind you, if you have questions, please we have ushers in the back who I understand it will bring the questions up to you if you just raise your hand or stick them out in the aisle or something else. We have a number, and if you don't mind, I'll begin right with them. We're going to start with a, a rather simple one, and I guess I'll ask Dr. Hoven to address this first and then Dr. Richardson to respond. Is creation still going on? Is it possible that evolution is the means of creation? I would say uh, absolutely not. My idea, the God that I worship, does not use blind random chance. He knows what he wants first time, and he makes it right first time. There's no need for progressive creation. The Bible certainly teaches he was finished and done on the sixth day, and he rested the seventh day. There has been no more creation, only preservation and decay as it is falling apart from the curses on the earth, and we are definitely falling apart. Our rotational velocity is declining. We're losing our speed, indicating it can't be millions of years old. I got another one in there. Uh, <clears throat> So, no, I don't believe creation is still going on. It, is a, it was a finished one-time act. The evolutionists will quickly say uh, that evolution of many species is no longer going on either. Ask them why, since chimpanzees are still having babies, none of the chimpanzees are becoming more human. They will say, well, they reached a state of perfection. So evolution has, for all practical purposes, stopped or slowed down to the point where it's not visible to observe. So really, both are taking the same evidence that there is nothing changing dramatically now. Both are interpreting it in light of their preconceived idea. Okay. okay, thank you. Dr. Richardson, is it possible that evolution is the means of creation? You know, these things came off. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it possible that evolution is the means of creation? Um, I'm afraid that I don't believe in creation, so I don't think that evolution is a, a tool for it. I believe that evolution is still continuing. We have many evidences of this today. We have many responses of organisms to natural selection. We, we have um, many, numerous examples of 
natural selection leading to divergence of populations, leading to changes in populations. So evolution continues, um, whether it's a tool of creation or not. I, I'm not here to answer religious questions. Okay, thank you. I'll direct the next question to you first then, Dr. Richardson. Since both creationism and Darwinism are not sciences in the true sense of the word, but actually religious, how can either be taught and displayed in the, quote, naked public sphere? The, the naked public sphere. Naked, I'm sorry, naked public square. I didn't write these, I'm sorry. I don't believe Darwinism is a, is a religion. Uh, it's, it is not based on faith. Uh, my faith is separate from my science. My family is a very religious family. Uh, they do not believe in the literal translation of the, of the Bible, however. All of my family is, uh, keeps their religion answering questions of religious significance and keeps their science, their reasoning mind, working and answering questions with, with respect to reason. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, get, get. I'll bet it would. Very good. I, I think we'd probably get a squeal if we're all turned on at the same time, so don't get too surprised if all of a sudden our eardrums are destroyed. If creation happened quickly, why do we see an evolutionary order in the fossil record? You may begin. Okay. If creation happened quickly, why do we see an evolutionary, what was the question, progression? An evolutionary order in the order. fossil record. Okay, we do not see an evolutionary order at all in the fossil record. Nearly all types of fossils have been found in every single layer. There have been human skulls, human skeletons found in so-called Cambrian rock. The truth of the matter is the entire geologic column, the 12 different layers of geologic column, is a hoax. It does not exist any place in the world except in the textbook. I taught earth science 13 years. Geologic column does not exist. If there is an order to the fossils, and there is a slight order, birds are generally found on the top, that would be positive proof of a flood because, number one, in a, flo in a flood situation, a bird's the last one to drown. And when he does drown, he's got hollow bones and feathers, so he floats. Of course, he's buried on top. But there is no true, definite order to the geologic column, and it certainly does not support evolution. Modern horse skeletons have been found in layers lower than Eohippus. Okay, thank you. Dr. Richardson. The Would you like me to repeat the question? Please. If creation happened quickly, why do we see an evolutionary order in the fossil record? Thank you. Um, there is an evolutionary order in the fossil record. The geologic time scale <coughs> was written by early geologists who were all creationists. Creationists constructed the geologic time scale and used it to, to support their theory of successive creations. Early creation theory said that there were four separate creations. Spontaneous generation or creation following each of four successive floods. So the geologic time scale is well studied, well delineated. There is a progression from bacteria to modern organisms. and. Um, I know that birds float to some extent, but they're also a modern organism, and we would expect to find modern organisms fossilized most recently on top of the geologic time scale, and that's just what we find. Okay, a related question, perhaps. Are there any intermediate life forms or fossils in the geological